Ah, the case of the murky, foul-smelling coolant. It's like your car is trying to tell you something, isn't it? And trust me, it's not whispering sweet nothings. When your cooling system starts exuding a chocolate milkshake that's lost its appeal, both in color and scent, it's waving a red flag. There are a few culprits behind this nasal and visual assault, the main one being contamination inside your cooling system. This contamination could be from several sources, but let's unpack the usual suspects. First up, rust and corrosion. The insides of your car's cooling system are mostly metal, and while they're designed to stand up to the constant flow of coolant, they're not invincible. Over time, if the coolant isn't changed out or topped up with the right mixture, it can become more acidic. This acidity can start corroding the metal parts it's supposed to be protecting. The result? Rust particles start floating around, muddying the waters, so to speak. This rusty intrusion is the first reason your coolant might have turned brown. The foul smell, though. That's usually a sign of bacterial growth. Yes, you heard right. Just like that forgotten container in the back of your fridge, your coolant can become a breeding ground for bacteria if it's not kept at the right chemical levels. This microbial party can produce gases that, well, won't remind you of roses. Another possibility, and definitely one you don't want to ignore, is a breached head gasket. This is a bit like finding out the mystery novel you're reading has pages missing, frustrating and potentially a sign of worse things. If your car's head gasket is failing, it can allow oil to seep into the coolant system. Oil, as you might guess, does not mix well with coolant. It disrupts the system's ability to function properly, and it gives the coolant that grimy brown color and unpleasant smell. Here's the bottom line. If your car's coolant looks more like a muddy river than a clear stream, and smells like a science project gone wrong, it's time to take action. Ignoring it can lead to overheating, severe engine damage, and a hole in your wallet that's even harder to repair than the car. From my base in Portland, Oregon, I've seen my fair share of vehicles suffering the consequences of neglected cooling systems. It's a pretty rainy place, Portland, but that doesn't mean your car's internals should be subjected to any less care. Rain or shine, maintenance is key. Your next steps? Get that cooling system flushed professionally. They can remove the contaminated coolant, clean out the system, and refill it with a fresh, clean mix that's got the right additives to protect your car's insides. And if it's a head gasket problem, well, you'll want to get that sorted out sooner rather than later. So listen to your car. If it starts turning your coolant into something you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole, it's time to show it some love. Regular maintenance is always less expensive than a major repair down the road. Stay vigilant.